What is up all of you amazing people out there watching from your home? My name is Nuri Plays and welcome back to the 100 Day Drawing Challenge. It's been two weeks since we've started, can you believe that? Can you actually believe that? So what I'm gonna do is something very special. In this one, we're gonna flip in, redo the gestures from the first day. Can you see how far we've come? We've actually come such a long way, like this is day one. And then let me open the last day, so day 13. Look at this. It's crazy the difference. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I Even when I like first looked at this before I started recording, I noticed all the issues with every single one of these. Which is pretty cool. Um, so when I was drawing these, you can see that I was using some kind of flow line, but I didn't really stick to it. Uh, and proportions are just whack. Like the arm here compared to the arm here is just completely wrong. Uh, this is, this can't really be a gesture drawing. Uh, but at the same time it can, because it is a portrait. This one could work, this one could work, and this one could work. Pretty much most of them apart from this one portrait here. Because you only have just the upper body, so... You don't really have a lot to work with for the gesture. Okay, but I kind of want to get started, so... I don't know why that exited the program. Let's try that again. Okay, so we're back in. I don't know why it just crashed out of nowhere like that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna get rid of that layer and then we'll kind of compare after.
Okay, and that's the last one. Again. I feel like this one's a lot better than what we had at the start before we even started this series. The only thing I would tweak is maybe this leg. Make it a bit wider. Perfect. Like this. There's more of a gap there. Can't even tell that it's not supposed to be there. Look at that. But yeah, okay, let's do the before and the after. So I'm gonna zoom out. Look how much better these gestures look. Obviously, the first one's mega exaggerated. Right? But that's the whole point with some of them. It, it's better to exaggerate it to get the effect. Again, the arm is a bit big here. There we go. Simple little fix. Nothing a simple little fix can't do. That one. Okay. Then if we do this, look at the second one. Again, very stiff and also very squished. And then this one actually has the right proportions this time. Uh, it's a lot wider. The gap between the chin and the shoulders correct for the most part. If anything, I'd move the head this way and I would fix the whole thing. Okay, the, this one's gonna be the craziest because yeah. Let me just move it like this so that you guys can see. Side by side. This has so much more... Flair to it. And accuracy and dynamicness and... Everything, man. Everything about this just surpasses whatever this is. This is just doodling, right? Like... It's... This is so much better. Crazy improvement in just a matter of two weeks. This one, camera is facing the right way now compared to before. The head is now tilted back compared to before. Hand is in the right place. Hand is actually lower here. Shoulder is in the right place. It's not there. Again, I just need more practice with like half naked people, I think. Because then I can figure out where everything is underneath all that. But yeah, no crazy improvement again. It feels like she's leaning back more in this one. Whereas in this one, it's still a bit too straight. I feel like this one is again really squished. Trying to get that perspective. This one's a lot more fluid. You can actually see the leaning motion a lot more clearly. There's that gap. So the negative space right there. Negative space is the gap between all objects. So in this case, a small triangle, but I really made it bigger here. And then again, the lean, the lean is there. Whereas here, if I rotated my head, if you rotate your head, it's just straight. Instead of a curve, like how it is here. And this one's the craziest improvement. <laughs> yeah, that is the craziest improvement. She's not leaning back, she's standing straight here. If you look at the line. This line right here. When the chest. It goes... <laughs> it goes straight. And then the photo is diagonal. Which is what we got here. That's why it looks so much better. We actually captured that lean this time. We could exaggerate it even more again, but I feel like this is more closer to the image. The arm is way more accurate. Because in this one, her arm is going lower than what's actually happening on the photo. And here we actually captured that again. Again, the arm is less dynamic here. And then here you can really see that arm flowing between all these different muscles. Super sick. This leg, I would change. <laughs> but the only thing I would change is this part. Right here. I'll make that a bit thinner. Just so I can really show that curve. If you see what I mean now. 
Which means in here we need to go skinnier too. Like this. There you go, there's another side by side directly. Even the feet are better now. Like the the boot, I got the boot right. The main uh, outline of the skirt. The hair flowing. We've improved a lot in two weeks. I'm just gonna say it. Crazy improvement. Crazy improvement. Tomorrow, we're studying drawing from our brain. Using what we've learned to come up with some gesture drawings and our own poses. I'll see you guys there. But apart from that, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. Apart from that, I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace out.